What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Football Capital. And as you can see from the title, our favourite agent, Mino Raiola, is front page news again. He's trending on Twitter again with one of his players, Paul Pogba. Once again, I mean, it's the, it's that never-ending merry-go-round when it comes to them to Mino Raiola and Paul Pogba. And I think this time for me, it is the final straw especially for Pogba at Man United. Now, we've seen a tweet from Fabrizio Romano this morning. Um, now, this was taken from an interview Mino Raiola done on uh, Tuto Sports. And he says, I can say that it's over for poor Pogba at Manchester United. Now, he goes on to say a few more things, but to be honest, I'm not really interested um, because this saga has been doing my fucking head in. And you know what? I'm kind of glad. I'm kind of glad that it's coming to an end. I mean, every it's what every few months. If you go check out the last video we uploaded, it's about Mino Raiola and Ibrahimovic about the whole FIFA rights or you know of his players' rights and all that. For this bloke, it's all about the money. It's how many, how much money can I make off my players? Like I think who was it? Simon Jordan from Talksport. He, he, He's a, he just, he's a merchant. He's just a money merchant that leeches off, off all of his clients. And um, once again, poor Pogba, you know, especially after, I wouldn't say a great performance, but a decent performance against West Ham, getting the equaliser, fantastic goal. And literally on the eve of our biggest, maybe biggest game this season, and literally the week that we're playing the Manchester derby, his agent comes out with more comments and, um, like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, it's, it's that saga that just never ends. It just never ends when it comes to these two. And, um, and we've seen it in the past. Literally, the last international break, it was how, how happy Paul, uh, Paul Pogba is playing for, for the, the international team. And then before that, the international, oh, he's so happy being in the French camp and... It just, it just never, it just never ends. I mean, it comes out, it comes out this morning saying how, um, what was the quote that it's very important that they, you know, this week it's very important that they beat uh, Leipzig in the Champions League and then ahead of their their clash with Manchester City. You're just chatting shit now. Like poor Pog was now literally chatting shit instead of him coming out, which he's never done before. He's never done it once when. Mino Raiola or his brothers, when his brothers are saying that he should leave and go back to wherever, Juve or go to Real Madrid, he's never once come out and said, no, I actually want to stay here. I actually want to prove myself at Manchester United. I want to take United back to the top, win a league title, and then, all right, you want to leave after that? And look, I've got no issues of him wanting to leave. We've had it with so many players in the past. We've, look at Ronaldo. Ronaldo, his, his dream was always to play for, for Real Madrid. And we always knew that. We always knew that when Ronaldo leaves, he's going to go to Madrid. One, he spoke to Fergie. Fergie's like, give me one more season. He gave us one more season. He won the league. And I think that year he probably won the Ballon d'Or. And he left. He left on United's terms. You got someone like Paul Pogba... And we, we know we, even with Sir Alex Ferguson, how many times Sir Alex Ferguson said it, that his attitude wasn't right for the club? And that's why he got rid of him. And he never, uh, Ferguson hated Rayola. That's why they never got along. And now he's, he's come back to the club. He's come back, uh, world record fee. Um, what has he really done? You know, I've backed him. And I, I've always backed Paul Pogba, even with, where other rival supporters and even our own supporters are saying that he's been he's been shit. He's a flop. All right, look, the first season he won, he helped us win the Europa League, <laughs> the Mickey Mouse Cup, um, a league tie, uh, the what is it, the Cab Caballero Cup, whatever you fucking call it. He helped us win that, so two trophies. But really, besides the stats that really don't tell us much, where has he been? What's he been doing? And this is, this is where poor Pogba really has to take a good look at himself. Because on the eve of literally the biggest game, he wants to come out 
or his agent wants to come out with these comments. And like I was saying, every time his agent or his brothers have come out and said something about his future at the club, he's never come out to say, actually, no, they're wrong. Or he's never told his agent to just shut up. You never see, his, you never see Mina Rayola uh, talk, saying anything about Ibrahimovic besides that FIFA rights la- last week. You never see him say anything about his future because <laughs> Ibrahimovic will tell him to shut up. But poor Pogba is just his puppet. He's just a Mina Rayola puppet. And whatever Mina Rayola says, he just goes along with it. And um, I've, um, hopefully, hopefully the club recognise it and don't start him tomorrow, which I, he probably will. You know, he probably will start because Oli rates him, you know. But I just think that not once, not once has he come out to say that he wants. And we've seen a couple of seasons ago at the end of the season when one of the fans was losing it at him, going off at him right in his face. And we stood here and we said, yeah, it's wrong for fans to do that. It's wrong. We backed Paul Pogba. I've backed Paul Pogba a shitload of times. But now I think this, for me, definitely has crossed the line. I mean, the, the disrespect that he's shown to Manchester United, not once, not twice, a handful of times. Was it not last, se- was it last season or the season before in preseason? He's saying that he w- how he wants a new challenge. We're, we're a week or two out from the season. And he's already talking about leaving the club. So how does that look on the rest of the squad? How does that look now? For example, if he starts against RB Leipzig tomorrow morning and let's just say someone like Van der Beek is on the bench again, how's he going to feel? How's he going to feel? This, this player that wants to leave is starting. I've signed, uh, I've signed for this club to play, to get minutes. All right, we've been patient. We've been patient with Oli with starting Van der Beek. But how would he feel now? It's going to cause more, more unrest in the, in the change room. And then you're going to see, you're gonna see uh, the players falling out with the manager. And we've seen it with Mourinho. And then we look at him like, yeah, Mourinho was right about, Pop, uh, about Pogba. He was right. And we saw the little things that Pogba did once Mourinho left. Like Mourinho got sacked. What, literally five minutes later, there's a tweet from poor Pogba. Yeah, it might have been a, a Adidas, some Adidas campaign. But the picture that was posted, it looked like everything was was set out. Mourinho is going to get sacked. We're going to put this. We're going to put this picture up to rub it in. Like, yeah, we won. Like, I won over Mourinho, kind of thing. Just to have a little dig at him before before he goes or leaves. And um, but yeah, but uh, I'd, in a way, I'm glad. And then he's, that he's going to leave. Well, it looks like he's going to leave. But then in another way, it's like you're going to leave a league, one of the best leagues in the world, and you're going to be known as one of the biggest flops because you came here and you did what? You came here to win the league. Not the, the League Cup. You came here to win the league. And you're, the way you're going to leave the club in that disrespect is just unbelievable. When you see all over Twitter, he's been, he's been trending. We've seen... Um, uh, even Jamie Carragher saying he's the most overrated player he's seen in his life. Not just this season, most overrated this season. Now, this is the most overrated player he's seen in his life. That's a huge statement. And you know what? He's not wrong. You can't really argue with that. You can't really argue. I mean, he's, forget about the stats. His performances, you can see by the performances that he puts in. Every week, what you're getting bullied by by West Ham, you're getting bullied by Brighton and all these other lower le- lower level teams. When has he really stepped up in a, in a match to take control? Maybe, maybe what against City when we're two 0 down under Jose Mourinho. Yeah, you could say he scored two goals. Sanchez stepped up as well in that game. <laughs> Smalling scored the winner. So, who's really inspired the team? Maybe this is the reason why. He wasn't given the captaincy. Everyone's complaining about Harry Maguire being the captain. Well, maybe he's just not, he's not fit for the captaincy. Now we all can say, oh, yeah, but look, his, his fantastic speech in the World Cup. Yeah? Without them players around him, I don't think Paul Pogba performs as good as he does. With Kante there, with Mbappe, Pavard in the back, Lloris, like, so many Griezmann, so many players in that French squad 
that make Pogba look good. What's he done now for the French squad? What you can't even you can't even put in a performance against San Marino, where half these players are postmen and mechanics and plumbers. You can't even put a performance against them. It's it, it's just so frustrating. It is so frustrating. Like the biggest week, the biggest week in probably in a, in a long time. Leipzig draw. We go through. Then we got the Manchester derby on the weekend, and it's and you see you can see all the all these ex uh, players, the pundits, saying he's got to go, he's got to go, he's overrated, he's got to go. Let's see what else we have. Um, yeah, he's unhappy. He's yeah. Look, we it's the same. It's the same shit all over again. Every time there's something going on, and look, and if you look at if you look at um, the players that Mino Raiola, well, that he has, they always move clubs. They always jump from club to club. Ibrahimovic is one of them. You got Mkhitaryan as well. He's always he's always looking for that sign on deal, that that pay packet for himself. Doesn't care about the clubs. Doesn't care about the players. In my opinion, I look at it and doesn't even care about his own players. And I understand. I think the 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 interview from Royola went public while United were flying. So, but still, how many times has he done it? And poor Pogba has never said anything to his. If, if my if I had an agent, whatever, and it's he's he's talking some shit, and I don't agree with it. I want to be at this club, like he claims. Why don't you just tell him to shut up? You say no. Listen, I want to be at this club. Stop telling the media and all these articles that. I want to leave. I want to stay here. No once has he said it because he keep Raiola keeps on talking shit all the time. All the, and not once has poor Pogba come out and said, "Nah, I do want to be here." I mean, you look at some other some other players. Look at Bruno when he's coming. Bruno has come in in January. Let's just say from Feb, since he started playing some games. Yeah. Look at the performances, Bruno. That, Bruno has put in, you expect that from Paul Pogba. That's the performances, week in, week out, you expect from Paul Pogba. Yeah, Bruno hasn't played every single game, a 10 out of 10 game, but most of, 90% of the time he has. And now if you look at some of the stats here, now remember, Bruno's coming in, what, February this year? 24 appearances, 15 goals, 11 assists. Paul Pogba, 119 appearances 26 goals 26 assists so literally in a few months bruno fernandez has done half what paul pogba has done in his whole time at manchester united yeah yep bit embarrassing it's a bit embarrassing the 90 million dollar world record fee Hashtag Pogback comes out with a Stormzy video to announce him to the club. The big Adidas deal for what? And who, like, all right, he wants to leave. Who's going to buy him? Who's going to buy him? What other team, one, is going to pay the money? Now we can run down his contract and he might even leave for free. Okay. I think they, because they extend, did they trigger the one year extension? So, why his contract ends in 2022, which means what next year, January, he can start talking to other other clubs to leave on a free, whatever that might be, something like that. Anyways, who's going to buy him? Who's going to spend the money on Paul Pogba? But then you got his wages. On top of that, you have to deal with Mino Raiola. There's a reason why Manchester City, Sheikh Mansour, the, the City group don't like to deal with Mino Raiola. Now, there's all this talk about um, Erling Haaland going to City. His father used to play there, an ex-player. And they're looking at, for Haaland to be the replacement of Sergio Aguero. But how come the rumours are, are never as strong as when United wanted Haaland? Because City do not want to deal with Mina Raiola. Uh, Jürgen Klopp doesn't want to deal with Mina Raiola. He's already had it a, a little bit when he was at... Um, 
uh, Borussia Dortmund with some of his players. Not, and this is this is the thing, yeah. Clubs are gonna look. Clubs are gonna look at this situation. They're gonna be like, all right, yeah, we, we look. Literally, there's only a few teams that can that can afford him. One is Madrid, Barcelona, and Paris Saint Germain. The, the talks of him going to to Juventus could include another player coming our way. I'll take I'll take Ronaldo at this point for for Pogba, <laughs> with the rumors again that Ronaldo wants to come back. Um, and I don't even care if that one doesn't work out. Ronaldo, if you want to come home, <laughs> I don't care if you sit on the bench for six hundred k a week. But um, there's only a couple, a few teams that he can go to. If you look at when he was at Juventus, and he when he left, did, have they missed him? No, they've won the league every single year. There's, if he goes to if he goes to Paris Saint Germain, is he gonna is he gonna be much of a difference? No, they're just gonna win the league again. If you go up Bayern Munich, they're just going to keep winning the league. There's, there, none of these teams actually need Paul Pogba. Maybe Madrid. Yeah, okay, maybe they're not doing the best at the moment. Barcelona, yeah, maybe. But really, it's, it's, it's either Madrid or Barca that usually win the league anyways. Who is going to pay the money for him? Who wants to deal with the whole Mino Raiola situation? What club? Surely not me. I've, I've, this guy, Mina Raiola, is the cancer. He's like the coronavirus of football, literally. He's football's cancer. And we've, like, I could understand if th- this news came out in January, all right, we're in the transfer window. There's, again, speculations of Pogba going, Pogba staying. He's not signing the contract. But on the eve of one of our biggest games, shows how disrespectful Mina Raiola and Paul Pogba is, is as well. Because how many times is is this going to happen? How many times are you not going to tell him to shut up? And it's it's happened again. It's happened again. So um, you know, you see Mino Ariola saying in the next transfer window, so he wants him gone in January. I don't know. Should should you not just leave him out completely? What Mourinho done? And like we we all, when it came to Mourinho, we all we all sat there and blamed him. Not not so much blamed him, but. When we lost 3-0 to Liverpool, his own, which was his last game, and he had, was it Pogba, Martial, he had all these players on the bench, especially Pogba. We said, what's going on here? Our best player is sitting on the bench. When he told him, when he came to training, and told him to leave. Where we're losing in, was it the FA Cup, and, he, and Pogba's tweeting or something during the game, or, or it was some, and he's lost it at him. And we've backed Pogba, we're like, oh yeah, it's, it's not a big deal, all this sort of stuff. But Mourinho was right. I don't know who the cancer was in the team. Was it Mourinho or was it actually Pogba? And the thing is, Pogba's going to have a lot of friends in, in the team. A lot of players are going to look up to him. And then this is where you get a split dr- dressing room. And with all the issues <laughs> that United are having at the moment, ha- have had the last few seasons, again, to split the dressing room, let's just say results don't go our way. We lose tomorrow. We're in, back in Europa League. We, you know, we lose to City. And now what? Everyone split again. Uh, Oli out. Pogba's this, Pogba's that, and it's a, it's again the negativity around the club is back. And it's when is it going to end? I've said it for so long. You can change the manager a thousand times. We're going to be in the same spot. If you don't have the players that want to be here, then <laughs> what are we fifth? We deserve to be there. We don't deserve to make Champions League if you've got players like Paul Pogba that want to leave. They want to leave, let them go. Lukaku wanted to leave. Did we, have we missed Lukaku? Last year we said, oh, we're going to miss Lukaku. Martial, Rashford, 20 plus goals. Greenwood, Greenwood came in, what was it, 14, 15 goals. Maybe even more. We had a lot. Bruno Fernandes comes in, 15 goals, 11 assists. That's just in the Premier League. I think 30 go- was a 30 something, 35 goals, 30, 35, 36 goals, and 37 appearances or something like that from Fernandez. Why not just get players like that that want to be here, that want to fight for the badge? <sighs> I don't know, guys. Let, let us know what you think. Let us know what you guys think about this whole Paul Pogba situation. Whether you're 
a United fan or another rival fan, and don't just say, oh, yeah, Pogba's a flop. Uh, and Literally, what do you guys think? Is poor Pogba the cancer of this team all along? Was it, has, he, has, has he been the problem all along? Let us know in the comments. I mean, to be honest, I'm sick and tired of talking about these two, these two guys, especially Mino Raiola. I, it's a shame because I want someone like Erlen Haaland to come into United because I think he's going to fix our problems up front. But then the thing is, you got Raiola as, as his agent, which is another issue. <sighs> guys, I, I don't know what to say anymore about this situation. Hashtag Pog out. Hashtag you're not fit to wear the shirt. I'll catch you guys later.